Well, I'm just I'm happy for these guys. I'm, I'm you know, obviously we, uh, uh, you know, I'm pleased for our team. I hate, you know, anybody to lose a game like that. I mean, I feel for, you know, ACU's kids and their staff. I mean, you never want anybody to lose a game like that. And, and uh, you know, we, if, if, you know, my my newly found thousand point scorer here, Latrell, who just hit thousand points tonight. If he 90 percent free throw shooter made some free throws, it wouldn't have come down to that. Uh, we always want him on the line, and and uh, Mr. Automatic and goes two for eight tonight, and and uh, but you know it was a crazy finish. Uh, but I was proud of, of we had control of the game for the most part, and then. Uh, to AC's credit, they fought back, and we see that zone that vaunted uh, Jim Beheim, Brett uh, Tanner's zone that he threw out there uh, against us, and we panicked. And great coaching move on his part. And uh, Latrell threw in about a 35-foot bomb, and like we kind of exhaled uh, a little bit, and uh, finally kind of got ahead of them. And um, you know, you hate for anybody to lose. And um, this is the first time we've won a game in our three years here. So as, much, as bad as I feel for him, um, I, I'm pretty happy for myself, to be honest with you, and for these kids. Any questions for Coach or the student athletes? Yeah. <laughs> well, Coach brought up your free throw shooting tonight. Uh, what's going through your mind that you're missing these late games? Considering you're one of the best free throw shooters in the West. Mm. Um, the best. The best. Okay. The best. Um, when I was suing them, I was trying to keep my head straight and not worry about the misses, but luckily I got great teammates that was keeping my spirits up and keeping my head right during those times when I was missing them. AJ here, got a big time player. And he came through, saved me a little bit right there, man. Speaking of AJ, you were gone for a month and a half, almost two months with the elbow injury. Welcome back, I guess, is, is the right thing. Like, now you've won three in a row since you've been back. What's it feel like? How nice is it to get back with you guys and, and be on a roll right now? Oh, man, it's great. I def definitely miss these guys. They going, not being able to travel with them for, like, almost a month, you know, being me being a senior. And, like, just when I got hurt and they told me that I was out for the season, a lot of things were going through my mind. Like, like I'm a, like, this like, there can't be no way, like, that was going to be my last game, just falling like that. And, like, man, I just, as days was weeks was going by, I was just, like, I was just doing stuff. But, like, at the same time, like, watching them play, it's just, like, it hurt knowing that, like, I could be out there and making an impact, you know. And, like, it's just prayed a lot. I definitely prayed a lot. I got a great support system with my teammates, family. Like, we just, just kept praying. And then some just spoke to me. I was shooting one day in the gym, literally. And then, like, right after I was shooting, I was, like, I just thought to myself, I said, man, I'm going to go play. To be honest, like, <laughs> went up to coach office, and we just, I went up there. I said, I'm going to play, and he was rolling with it. We uh, told her, to talked to another person on the staff. Uh, coach, uh, dang, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Coach Pre. Yeah, I talked to Coach Pre right after, and then, shoot, it was just in, like, 24 hours, we got the okay, so. And I just got to, ever since then, it's just been rolling since. You know, trying to get in slowly, my team. And, you know, a couple of the players been hot. You know, a couple of the players just been feeding into the system and stuff. So I didn't really want to come in and just be big-headed and stuff. I wanted to come in and still add fuel to the fire that we had going. And then uh, as we kept playing, things just started clicking and stuff. So really just a praise to my teammates, coaching staff, medical people that have been with me, family, most of all God, too, without them and him. Shoot, I want to be here. Kyle, this question for you. While they're reviewing that shot by AJ, what did you and Brett say to each other? It looked like you were kind of smiling, like shrug your shoulders. It's just what SFA ACU does. Yeah, we played so many close games. That, you know, honestly, you know, to be honest with you, we talked about we should be hopefully next year we're we'll playing this game on Saturday night. That's really the conversation that we had. You know, because in previous years, you know, our programs have played for championships. And that's kind of the conversation, to be honest with you, that we had. Because we, we, you know, we think that, you know, we've had those games in, in previous years, and that's kind of the conversation really that we had, and the respect that we had. You know, Brett's done so much for SFA in his past, and 
you know, and, his, and, and their program. We have a lot of respect for their program. We've had un games just like this, you know, for many, many, many years, and they've been great. And they, we we know that they're winning pedigree that they have. So that's kind of, and we're, we're really good. We've been friends for a long, long time. You know, you, you never like playing friends. Like if we were in the league, I would never play him, and I don't think he'd ever play me either. So, but I, if I can say one thing about AJ, and I, then I, I will let ACU come in here. I'm sure they're distraught, but you know, the, AJ is very atypical of student athletes today. Like p kids are are, are, are uh, uh, opting out of bowl games. Uh, combine NFL combines, anything that they can do to opt out and, and not injure themselves for their professional career. And so I think everybody should really honor, you know, a guy like AJ who's not 100% healthy today uh, with a broken bone in his elbow, who's put himself at physical risk to compete for Stephen F. Austin, uh, should really honor him and, and his glory and, and what he's doing. And so I think, you know, he talks about God. Hey, the, trust me, that was willed in through his faith and whatever. I believe that. And, and because of his sacrifice and wanting to play for multitudes of reasons. And uh, I just very – and he knows this. We've had a lot of conversations since he decided he wanted to play. There was no, no, nobody putting any pressure on him to play at all. But he is very atypical, the student athlete that goes on in, in today's society. And, and I'm grateful that he wears our purple. Um, so I just want to make sure everybody understands the kind of young man that he is. And he's going to graduate, you know, here in another, you know, six weeks. So pretty cool guy we got here. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Love this, too. Yeah, love I do. I love man, him, man. you know. And I mean, it always hasn't been easy for us. And he knows that. I've coached him really hard. <laughs> but he's got my ultimate respect. He's always been our family. Sure. So. Love y'all, man. Love this system. So. Yeah. This system is great. I'm not going to lie, you really got to be mentally strong to be here. If you're not mentally strong, I don't think you could be a lumberjack. Most definitely. <laughs> it's a nice shot at me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and that's man. okay. He, get, he, get the, he, he got a way of getting the best out of us. So. No, definitely. There's not a lot of coaches out here like that at all, to be honest. And definitely cares for us, too. Oh, of course. A lot, definitely cares for us. A lot of stuff y'all don't see off the court. It's a great man right here. I might see him yell on the sidelines. For he, sure. He got some nice moments, too. <laughs> From the whack, I feel really sorry for Kendra because I'm never good at halftime or before the game. <laughs> she doesn't know who I really am. <laughs> the game's a totally different deal. So I apologize publicly for Kendra because I was so mad at Latrell at halftime. <laughs> I couldn't even talk to Kendra. So if she's watching or listening, I apologize to you, Kendra. <laughs> so anyway. Anybody else before we go? So we let Brett and his group come in here. Uh, two very quick questions, Latrell. Majority of your points coming from SFA crossing the thousand point threshold, getting it in the conference tournament in kind of an overall moment. Try to quickly recap what that means for you. Um, it means a lot. Uh, you know, you probably didn't even know, did you? I didn't. I really don't. I really don't look at that type of stuff. I'll be. I mean, our, our whole team, we, we try to focus on the win. That's the most important thing to everybody on the team. So, but, I mean, I'm really I'm really happy that I reached that mark. That's a, that's a great milestone, but that's in the back. That's on to the next tomorrow. And, a AJ, as quickly as you can, just reflect the moment and everything that you were thinking as everything was going down. Like the shot? Yes. Yes, the shot. Yes, sir. <laughs> that, that one little shot you made. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. When it left my hands, I knew it was good. Oh my god! <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. When it left my hand, I knew it was good. I said it to him. I said it in the interview. Off the I said, it. I called for it. When it left my hand, I knew it was good. I be we be shooting circuit shots like that in practice. So, a lot of freedom in our program. Yeah. Well, Obviously, good. you know, you set yourself up pretty good. Just turn the ball over. Just let the ball just explodes on you. Don't get back, and you set yourself up for that last shot. Didn't yeah, you? man. Yeah. yeah. We didn't even talk about that. Been playing a lot of yeah, Madden. Perfect. Ran the playoffs. Yeah, give up two so you can make three, just not getting back. <laughs> Great way to get the pressure. Thank you, guys. Vegas, baby. Congrats on advancing, and thank you for your time.